I'm gonna be breaking down clips. I'm gonna be chowing down my Cheerios and watching clips. My beautiful viewers, gonna be starting a new series, clip reviews. You send in your clip. If it's funny, it's funny. If you want me to break it down, I'll break it down. Everybody's sending me their clips on Discord. All you gotta do is click the link in the description or my bio on YouTube or Twitch. My link's everywhere, it's not hard to find. Send your clip in, clips to analyze channel on my Discord and I'll go through it live on Twitch. This channel is also a place where you guys can go through your clips live to get it. Analyze it, cross analyze it, whatever you wanna do. It's a place to talk about your own clips, things that you could've done better, etc. I'm usually going over clips at the start of my my stream so hit the follow button get notified when i go live put your clip in the discord and you could watch me break it down live on twitch but yeah something different hopefully you enjoy it and put your clip in the discord fam nice free look nice attack device oh <laughs> okay. i was kind of worried you were not gonna free look i'd be free looking right now bro free looking way way before you're kind of lucky you seen him at that last frame Good shots, repeat in the same angle is kind of risky. Turn your attack device on, man. Make your shots a lot cleaner. Like that right there is a bunch of fucking luck because you really don't know what you're shooting at. It's early to pull out the green flare, bro. There is no way this is happening right now. This is so slight. I'm about to smash my keyboard, but how much are you paying these ones? I was about to say, yo, this is a bit early to pull out the little green baton, fam. But what the f you gave this guy a high five and then rubbed your nutsack over the top of the second one in the corner. I've never seen anything like this. This might be a clip of the day. Look how personal you are. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Oh, whoa, your sensitivity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take your sensitivity, divide it by four. Not pain kill either, bro. Pop a stim or something. Number one, what the f is your flick, bro? Your sensitivity, you're trying to flick to here. He's trying to flick over here. Look how much he overextends by. And then look at his overcorrection. Look at his shit. He doesn't even know. This is an obvious ass right hand peak, and you're overextending like a mother. All right. The average play style in dorms. No painkillers because he doesn't want to make noise. Somebody's looting, so he's crept walked all the way from somewhere before he cut the clip in. Look at this. Hold on. Peep, peep, peep bottom left, right? Peep, peep bottom left. Watch him adjusting aggressively. <laughs> he's now entered PvP mode. No, he's going back down. Peep, peep, peep the bar. Peep the bar. Went back down. <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Take that right hand. Take that right hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay. I would have been surprised if you got that kill. Absolutely. All right, in no world should you be aiming here. In no world, bro. You aiming in, all you're doing is hindering your aim. So now you have to correct a lot more because you're aimed in. The people downstairs caught you off guard, but you killed them, no problem. This guy, you knew he was up there, so he should have been more ready. Guy's chasing you, now the other guy's chasing. He's playing aggressive, he's pre-firing you, so he has to reload. All right, take this time, fall back, fix your bleeds, pop a PK, pop a stim, pop a tall, reload your own weapon and take the right hand peek. Now, you don't do any of that. You 
stand in the middle of the hallway. Now, you had a lot of time to do whatever you wanted. There's no point taking this angle out in the open and then leaning with it. You might as well just be standing, standing up straight, not leaning, and it's ready for him to push out. The UMP, Papa PK, man. Papa PK, brother. Uh, yeah. Why am we too, man? Why is... I'm gonna assume that you guys are new to the game. That's it? Why'd you cut the clip, man? Oh, you killed both. Oh, you can hear him scream, actually. You didn't headshot him because he moans. People don't People don't make noise. People die quietly if you headshot him. I'm assuming you guys are new to the game because you stay in the same area, right? You get flashbanged, you fall off. That makes sense. And then from here, you and your teammate are doing nothing. You want to play on your own initiative. So your teammate, wrap inside factory or inside the factory building. Try getting an angle on first floor, third floor, second floor. You have a shitload of different angles. But you guys are just playing passive. He's waiting around the corner here. You're waiting around the opposite corner, waiting for them to make the move it's not a great play because you're depending on them pushing i don't know why the first guy runs down i guess he's trying to third party your fight this guy's also pushing down i guess they just said Fuck it push but oh i love this angle this will be a better angle if you step on the sandbags right here if you vault on top of this one you get the best angle you can see deeper into the into the place you're looking at or just walk back onto this one <laughs> it's the left hand. Uh, okay, a bunch of pre fires, which I'm not a fan of, and then you eventually kill him. So pre firing. That's fine, but you're, you're trying to be way too fancy with it. You're trying to maintain map control. I don't mind those first couple of pre-fires, but these are unnecessary. So now if I, if I was the other guy, right, you've now just given me information on he's got a suppressed AUG. He's probably geared because he's got a suppressed weapon. He has 40 rounds max. So now I have that in the back of my mind. If you shoot over 30 bullets, I know you're going to reload. It's free information that you're giving away. And you're kind of exposing yourself in the process too. Like right here. If he was holding this right, if he didn't respect your pre-fires, he kills you. The average player, you're not going to have to worry about, yo, giving away information like my gun shooting, how many mags the enemy's keeping in mind, all this sort of shit. It's more advanced, but I think it's worth talking about. Okay, bro. So, it looks like you guys are also having numbers, right? Numbers are calculating. You guys want to push out. Take your PK, man. Kiddo, take your PK. Pop a painkiller, man. Take your pills. Roll Vaseline, man. Lube up your f I swear to God, but if I see another clip, I'm gonna be paying for when you're doing a push like this. Because it's not even like it's spontaneous. You planned this out. You either got comms in the Discord going like, yo, f it, let's just run it down. Pop a painkiller, man, please. Hey, okay. Well, your monitor's like a box. Why'd you drop your I fight, bro? Oh, now nah, you're in trouble. Now nah, you just ran into a dead end. You know you're in trouble. You know you're in trouble. Yeah, jiggle him, jiggle him. Turn your flashlight off, bro. Jiggling, turn your flashlight off. Bait his ammo. This guy, you can bait him easily. Easily. Jiggle the corner, bruv. Your flashlight's on. He knows exactly where you are. That's why he's pre-firing. And look at that. Okay, so he baits his ammo. He just does it in a more sketch way. It's similar to that clip in Factory where some of you guys are not playing off your own initiative. You're kind of waiting for the enemy to make a move, which in this situation can't afford to do that. You know he's holding it because of his flashlight. He knows you're holding it because of your flashlight, right? So the same thing you're going off of, he's going off of. So flick your flashlight off, jiggle the corner, and you're jiggling the corner to waste his ammo, right? You know he's got an MDR. You know he's already pre-fired it before. He hasn't reloaded up to this situation, so you know he's already hot. 
at least half a uh, magazine capacity. And you're already low too. I wouldn't bait a heel here because I don't want this guy to push. So yeah, he runs up, pre-fires it because of your flashlight like we talked about before. Now from here, I already knew he's done. Right, runs away, baits his ammo, he plays his cards wrong, he pre-fires. A lot of hopes and copes in his spray and then he dies. Good kill, but he died because of his own mistake. If you take your own initiative into that fight, jiggle the corner, force him to run his mag dry, you would've, it would have been a lot cleaner. What the f*** happening? That's why I don't play labs, man.